Everybody saw this week the camera footage of what happened in Johannesburg, uh, the horrific uh, plundering, uh, the horrific unnecessary violence against our police members, the Metro Police and SAPS. And we saw the harrowing footage um, of the cameras inside the Nyalas, inside the uh, armored vehicles and the chaotic presence inside of not police, but normal human beings. Because we kind of forget that a police officer in this country is just like you and I. They are human beings that woke up in the morning, had breakfast if they had time, kissed their family goodbye, and entered a world of violence. So today we need to ask ourselves, when we see in the Cape Flats police and now our military on the streets, when we see what happens in, in our streets in Joburg CBD, and in so many other places where violence in actual fact is, is perpetuated in such a manner and is seen across the world. So, so many people asked me my opinion, and again we had those that said to me, how is the ANC doing, and how is your government doing, and uh, because obviously I am a member, but wanted to know what is our president doing, and what is our country doing. Well, my question always reverts back to what are we doing? What, what, what are we doing as citizens? We've got to recognize that the police at this current moment run at violence when we run away. So I wanted to make a statement that the police need all the help that they can get. As a civilian, as a person closely related to engaging in certain structures with the South African police, morale is low. And I'm, I'm not a member. Also, I'm not a politician. I'm a citizen, so I can speak freely. If we don't get involved with our police in every manner that we can, it's like turning our back on our society and saying, we don't support you. Criticism is great because normally criticism is given from the other side. It's not given from inside. So if you're a person that, like me as a businessman, is a normal person, I respect every day the fact that we've got people out there that are standing that line. No matter what you say, no matter the bad apples that we've got in the police, I can tell you that the majority are standing that line. In Johannesburg, they broke that line because they were overwhelmed. Because other citizens, and now being said they are not South African citizens, attacked our police law enforcement. And that's the debate. Because if the police line breaks, the country line breaks. This is not a matter of debate. This is not a matter of discussion. This is a matter of standing behind the members of the police and showing them we care. Because we can do it when there's a major fire in the mountain and we rush with water and we rush with food parcels to give it to the people that are fighting the fire so that they can douse and kill that fire. Well, crime in this country is now a fire. Dit is een oorweldigende brand wat aankom en die mense wat voorstaan om die brand dood te maak, is die politie. It's another fire. So why are we not rushing as citizens to the police stations? Going there en masse en saying to them, hier is een meldtaat, hier is een meldtaat. Here's a cup of coffee. Here's a cool drink that we made for you because we know you're fighting now a different fire. In actual fact, you are being fired on. There's no difference. Have we become 
so negative to the men and women in blue that we don't understand that today, nom schlange, not ugomso, ni moreni, now we must rise as South Africa and, and, and drive past every police van, every police car, every policeman and just stop and say thank you. Thank you and don't give up. Because we love you. We care about you, the men and women in blue. Because I work with them now and their line is breaking in their heart. Can you imagine seeing what they see and then having to go home and be with their family normal? So this is a call. That is an oproop so that we can look at our men and women in blue and give them the backing that we need to give them a civil society. And maybe, maybe by just going to your local police station and dropping your cans of Coke and your cans of, of water and, and your chips and your, your, your cakes, we can say in another way, thank you. Because they are the last line. And if that line breaks, we have no more society. Then we are not a country worth our salt. So go back them today. They need you. We need them. We need a unified country again. Thank you.